So if you're interested in hearing how you can make millions of dollars on YouTube, you are gonna love today's video. Field trip and story time. Uh, the reason why I wanted to actually come to the Marietta Square to film today's video when I'm talking about YouTube is actually because this is one of the places where, uh-oh, I see a lot of kids hit this. This may not work out the way I, holy crap, what is everybody doing? So, uh, the plan was solid. I thought I was gonna come to the square and actually sit right there on that bench because that bench was actually where I would film a lot of my early videos. Um, I would come to Marietta Square, set up my tripod, and this was before like YouTube was really like a thing. And so everybody used to look a little bit crazy when I was actually talking to a camera. But uh, the plan today was to sit here and talk and do the video, but I think I gotta find a more secluded spot. Yes. Sure, man. What's going on? Let's do it. Ready? What? <laughs> Thanks, brother. So back in 2008, stuff like that didn't happen. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's up? People also didn't call me Alpha back in 2008, but 2008 was the year that I decided to start a YouTube channel. The whole reason was because I got kicked off of a reality show called Glam God with Vivica Fox. And I was so upset, I was pissed off, I got home, and I had a video camera that my wife gave me back in 2006. Up until this point, I never opened the box. I thought that she wanted to actually film ourselves like getting sexy, she did not. So I got this video camera, I had this image consulting business for men that I was starting, and I'm like, maybe I should post some videos on YouTube and just see what happens. At the time, I had no idea about what YouTube really was. Up until that point, I'd only been on the platform about like three times to look at probably like cat videos or something. But I'm like, let me give it a try. Let me just see. And something else you need to understand about me, I'm the least technologically savvy person you'll ever meet. All right. I don't like technology. I am a late adopter to everything except YouTube. That was one of the things that I was like an early, early adopter. What's up? What's up? Say hey. You want to say hey? What's up? What's up? Been watching you for years. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, Good to see you. What are you drinking? Mojitos? Mojitos. Oh, man. I should be with you guys. Yes. <laughs> Good to see you guys. So I filmed my first video, and um, it was me all sitting there in like a black velvet jacket. I remember like it was yesterday. And I was like, hello, my name is Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting. Right? And I had this like big jacket on. I had a shirt. I had a tie that had like a huge knot uh, because I thought that every stylish dude knew how to tie a Windsor knot. And so I did a video and I put it out there. And the only thing that I can remember from that video is a comment that I got. Somebody asked me a question, said, hey, I'm a big dude. What should I wear? Want to be in a video? What? I didn't want to be, but I watch all your stuff. <laughs> Thank you, brother. It was at this precise moment that I found my home. I was hooked because for the first time in a, basically my lifetime, I felt like I was validated and like somebody was interested in what I actually had to say. And I posted the video, the next one. And from there, the rest, as they say, is history. One thing I didn't think about when I started was how do I make money at this? And that's kind of what I want to talk about today. How, as a YouTuber, can you make millions of dollars? <sighs> All right, so let's talk a little bit about YouTube and money. What's up? I'm Aaron. Oh, the, the alpha, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yo. What's, what's going that, on? Not much, man. Looking I'm good, man. Saying, you man. work for Cobb County? Yeah. That's amazing. What do you do? I work for Superior Court Clerk's Office. Very good, very good. Yeah. You haven't seen me because, you know, I'm out of trouble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, it was the voice. It was the voice? I know that dude. <laughs> That's awesome, man. You live down here? Yeah, I live right, right up the road. Oh. Dude. Want to get together for a drink sometime? Man, I, I don't drink much, oh, but I appreciate it. So where was I? <laughs> Alright, so, so when I started posting YouTube videos back in 2008, stuff like that didn't happen. Um, I gotta tell you, every time that happens, where somebody like recognizes me or says what's up, um, it is amazing, I gotta be honest. Um, and so if you ever meet me, like don't think it's a bother or anything like that. Like literally, it's the highlight of my day. Anyway. Um, so when I started posting YouTube videos, there was absolutely no idea that you could actually make money on this platform. Remember, this was back in 2008. Nobody was making any money on YouTube. It wasn't even a thought that you could. People were just posting videos about themselves or things that they were interested in, right? And you'd go and you'd watch it and then you'd send it to a friend. Well, back in 2008, I decided I was going to keep posting videos, right, about style. And I thought, hey, maybe there's a market for it. I didn't know anything about subscribers. I didn't know anything about monetization. I didn't know anything other than I had something I wanted to share and maybe somebody would find it valuable. 
And guess what happened? People started watching. And I was like, this is incredible. People were subscribing. I'm like, this is amazing. I felt incredible. For the first time in my life, I felt valued. I felt validated. People were interested in what I wanted to say. And this was what I've come to realize, honestly, what I've been searching for my entire life in terms of success. So growing up, I thought success for me was going to mean like owning a big successful gym or a chain of nutrition stores or whatever, right? It was not posting videos on YouTube. If you would have told me that 10 years ago, I would have punched you in the face because that was not what success looked like to me. But when I started posting videos and I started getting feedback, back and I started feeling like I was I was worthy I was valued this was when everything in my life got better and I truly found my success and what I've come to realize my success what it looks like is not cars it's not watches it's not money it's feeling like I mattered and feeling like what I had to share was actually valued by somebody else and so I kept posting every single Friday I would post a video my routine was I would personal train during the day and on Friday I would get a six pack of beer I'd set it on my credenza, I'd put up my video camera, and I'd film a video. And that's something that I just wanna kind of talk a little bit about real quick. Um, most people don't realize that the early videos of me, I was drunk uh, by the time I was done. Um, I was not in a good place emotionally, and so one of my coping mechanisms was drinking. And so um, it was actually YouTube that made me get my shit together. Do my thing? What's my thing? <laughs> oh, you dropped something. Yep. Oh, it's a little... <laughs> Have a good one. YouTube, brother. YouTube made me a better person because I didn't want to disappoint you guys. And so I decided I need to get my shit together. I stopped drinking, I stopped dipping uh, nicotine. I used to chew two cans of tobacco a day. Um, and the way that I actually quit drinking was I quit chewing tobacco. I knew that it was my trigger and so I needed to stop that if I ever was gonna be able to um, actually give up nicotine. And that honestly is something that I am the most proud of myself for ever doing. I never thought that I'd be able to give up nicotine and chewing tobacco. But in the process, I stopped drinking and everything in my life truly got better like I had better relationships I felt better about myself my body looked better I felt better in the morning and I didn't realize what it what a hold alcohol actually had on me now today I do drink a little bit right I have some wine I enjoy wine but I don't get blackout drunk I don't drink irresponsibly and for me that was a big deal so I started posting every week I would post a video and it was intoxicated literally and figuratively it was intoxicating I loved the feedback I loved interacting I loved engaging with people and then I was like, wait a second, if style's a thing, maybe people would be interested to know how to tweeze their eyebrows because it was something that I was interested in and I'd always done. And then I made a video about butt hair. I can't be the only dude that's ever wondered, hey, what should I do with my cheeks? Should I shave them? Should I trim them? If you want to get rid of the hair on your butt. And so I just started posting videos. Anything I thought might be interesting to somebody else or a thought that I'd have when I was younger, I wanted to share it. I was super comfortable in my own skin and I just thought, you know what, why not? What do I have to lose? I didn't realize what would end up happening. I just kept posting and posting and posting. I just kept doing it. I was not making any money at the time. And um, something else that I did that I'm not proud of, I actually have deleted a lot of my earlier videos because I was embarrassed of what I was saying, right? Because when I was first starting out, I was trying to figure out like, what is a popular topic? And I was looking at other YouTubers that were popular and they were saying outrageous things. They were being outlandish. The more outrageous, the more outlandish, the more they cursed, the more they said things that were kind of horrible, the more popular they became. And so I'm like, let me try that. And so I started posting things that were not consistent with the way that I actually feel. And one day I just decided, you know what, this is insane. When I finally dropped the act and just was authentic and vulnerable, that's when everything started to kind of scale and get better. I wasn't trying to be something I wasn't. I was being vulnerable, I was crying. I was talking to people like they were my friend because I felt like they were. I felt like every single subscriber, every person that watched, every comment that I got was coming from somebody that was my friend. And that's kind of the first and second and probably third. There are a bunch of lessons in what I'm telling you that you need to understand. 
As my YouTube channel grew, I started to actually make a little bit of money. Back in the day, you had to actually apply for monetization. And I think you needed like 10,000 subscribers. I applied, I started to make a little bit of money, and then the sponsors started to pay attention a little bit, right? The Grooming Lounge, early sponsor. Blank Label Shirts, an early sponsor. As I started to grow, my videos started to get more views. Remember, I was the first and only person talking about style and grooming on YouTube. And at the time, it was kind of embarrassing. Whenever I'd go to a party uh, with my wife and we'd be around friends, when somebody would say, Aaron, what do you do? She'd be like, please don't say you make videos for a living. You sound like you're making porn, right? And so anyway, this is before people made money. This is before YouTube was a career that people wanted. It was pure. It was innocent. People didn't know about making money. There weren't people or YouTubers making millions of dollars on this platform. You just did it because you wanted to help people. You wanted to share something. And if you are somebody that wants to get into YouTube, which I personally would say every single one of you watching this video should start a channel because you truly never know where it's gonna lead. Look at me, right? But you need to understand this. If you're somebody that wants to make YouTube a career, the only thing you need to worry about now is making videos about things that you're interested in. It will find its audience. Do not go into it thinking someday I'm gonna make millions of dollars and start strategizing now. Stop it. That is the quickest way for you to fail. If you wanna truly make YouTube a career, don't worry about money. Simply worry about putting out videos that people wanna watch. And if you do that and you do it authentically and with the purity of that intention, the money will come, I promise you. Do not worry about making a million dollars now. Worry on making great videos. That is the single best piece of advice I can give you. The second best piece of advice I can give you is just start. Don't worry about perfection. It's not gonna happen. I still, to this day, hate a lot of the videos that I put out, but you just put it out. You gotta work the muscle. It's never gonna be right. It's never gonna be perfect. It's also never been easier for anybody to do it. Guys, if you are somebody that's not sure what you want out of life, you're not sure where you wanna go, you're not sure what business, start making videos about things that you're interested in. You will grow an audience of like-minded people that are interested in the same things that you're interested in. You're gonna grow your audience. You're gonna grow your following. You're also gonna grow your voice and your authenticity. You're also gonna make friends because that is one of the biggest things and the biggest mistakes that people make when it comes to creating content. They start with the intention of making money or selling them on the first interaction. Do not ask them to buy anything right away. That's one of the biggest mistakes. Now, if you wanna start a website, get a URL and say, hey, if you want more tips or information, go to the website, link down below, and sign up for my newsletter, right? Even if you don't have a newsletter, it doesn't matter. It's about capturing people's email information. Because as you build the list, once you figure out, hey, what product, what info product, what grooming product, what shirt, whatever you're interested in talking about, you'll figure out a way to monetize that. You'll figure out a product and you'll already have a built-in audience. Not only will you have an incredible YouTube channel and following that is literally ready to buy anything you're talking about because of the value you've given them and the connection and the closeness that they feel, you'll also have a huge email list that you can basically market to people. And that's what happened with T. Shanley. When we started, like I said, day one, we had a thousand people sign up. We literally went from zero to like $800,000 annual run rate. It was insane. And the way we did that, I invited people into my world. I shared experiences and things that I thought might help people in the long run. And when we launched, it was literally instant. And it was a result of us giving value and actually making friends as opposed to customers. Guys, the one thing I wanna leave you with is start. Make a YouTube channel. Even if you don't know what you're gonna talk about now, just do it because you truly never know where it's going to lead. But it's gonna take time. It took me, I think it was like, eight years or nine years of posting videos regularly to get a million subscribers. I also posted videos for five years before I ever made like a dollar from a sponsorship or my own products. Don't worry about the numbers or the metrics. Don't worry about the algorithm. Just simply make things and videos that you think people are gonna be interested in watching or that you would be interested in watching. You don't need a fancy camera. You literally can film it on your phone. Gentlemen, I'm telling you, it's never been easier. Anybody these days can make a YouTube channel and just post, just do it. I promise you, you never know where it's gonna lead, but the connections you make and the feeling you get, and when you help somebody, there is no better gift in the world, no better feeling that you'll receive. And truly, this is what I consider to be success. Guys, good luck, congratulations. Let me know when you start a channel so I can come and drop you one of these.